Welcome to another episode of Final Cut Pro Help Live. I wanted to jump on and do a quick stream here just to talk about a feature that's in Final Cut that allows you to easily batch change titles. At the beginning here, I have a title in the lower left corner here. Let me zoom into it. You can see just white text, very plain, basic title. Uh, if I go down a little bit further in the project, I have another one here that I've changed the color on, and I made a couple other titles with other formats and sizes and you can see a couple different options here so this is just in general how you can change all of these clips at once to update uh, the look of them now for this it's common to have issues with this so this is a good thing to go into your uh, library here find the project that you're working on which in this case is this uh, donut shop at final cut pro help project I'm just going to right click on this and choose duplicate project as snapshot or shift command D. And what that does is it makes an exact copy of the current project that I have. And it'll add the uh, date and time at the end of the title for this project. And so I just have that project now backed up the way that it currently is. I recommend doing that as well. Anytime you make uh, batch changes to anything, it's a good idea to make a backup of it first. That way, if we need to go back to that snapshot, we can. Uh, now that I have the backup, I want to make changes to all of these titles. But first, I'm going to create the actual look. So with this first title selected, I'm going to go over to the inspector here. And I'm under the second tab here. And this is the text inspector. And this allows you to change things like the font. We, we have that option here. So if I wanted to change the font, maybe I want to go to like an Arial black we'll just make a very thick font here uh, if the size is not right I can increase the size right very basic text formatting options here you can then go down and change uh, things like the face which is the color of the text so in this case I'm going to select the color and I'm going to change it to a green color uh, actually that green's kind of hard to, to see let's do like a, let's find something that stands out a little bit more None of these colors really stand out. So let me just sit with this neon green color. And that way you'll be able to see that the color is actually changed for all the rest of them. And if you want to, you can go in and uh, choose your options for outline, glow, all the rest of the formatting options here. And once that's set for one clip, we now want to apply that to all of these other title clips. So before I move on to the rest of the clips, I'm going to go up to the top of this menu here and you might have seen this this drop down that says normal at the top uh, this is what's called the style of text you can click on this styles menu and there's some pre-built styles in here that you can look at and the text is already formatted for you and i recommend checking them out and and uh, working with those but then you have an option here to save this uh, format appearance or both you can save all the format and appearance attributes for the text so I'm going to save everything. You can experiment with all these options here. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to name it. And this is my uh, donut shop project. So I'm just going to call it donut shop style. That way we know it's the style. I'll hit save. And uh, that's it. Now we have that style saved. So if I go up to this normal drop down menu here, you'll see there's my donut shop style. And it's written in the format that you saved it as. So you'll be able to, to get a really easy preview of that. So now what I want to do is select all of the rest of these uh, texts, clips, these title clips, and apply that style. So to do that, click on the timeline index. Top left of the timeline, there's an index button. Click on that. Under the clips tab, which is this first one here at the bottom, click the titles button. That'll show you all of the title clips all in a list here. You can now just click and drag from the bottom to select all of them. I don't need to select uh, the top clip here because I've already formatted that one. Select all of the title clips. You'll notice on the timeline they all have the uh, outline now, the little gold outline there. Let me know they're selected. And then in the inspector, back in the text inspector, I can click on the styles drop down and select that donut shop style that I created. And now if I skim through the project, notice the first title has that uh, formatting on it but as I skim through all of the other titles that I've created which all of these have just the generic name description text but uh, you can see all of those uh, titles are in there now so that's how you create a style for a title or text and then apply it to all of your other uh, clips that are in there 
And if you want to update the style, you can certainly go and do that and update one of the clips. And then using the timeline index, select all of those clips. And then in the uh, inspector here, we can select that text style. And then you're uh, essentially just updated all of your titles in your project. So it's pretty straightforward to go and do that. It can be a little cumbersome at first, and that's why I recommend making that timeline or making that project snapshot because that takes everything that's on your timeline and copies it. So you can see in the browser here, if I double click on the snapshot, I can see all of the texts and those titles as they were before. So I skim through, uh, and then if I go to my current project, I can see the updated ones with that green text in the corner there. All right, so that's working with the uh, text inspector here to create a style and then using the timeline index to select all of those title clips to then apply that style to all of them. So that's the uh, tip that I wanted to point it, put out there for today. If you do have any questions yourself, you can go ahead and put them down in the comments on this video. You can also reach out to us, visit anawesomeguide.com for more tips and support. Or you can reach us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the social medias using at Final Cut Pro Help. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your day. Thank you.